Humates are organic acids that are found in the upper layers of certain coal seams. When mixed with conventional fertilisers, they help to condition soils and make nutrients more available to plants. We went to Solid Energy's New Vale mine, where humates are extracted, to find out more. The humate material comes out of our upper seam closest to the surface, and it's about six to eight metres below the surface. As we dig it out, the first stage is in 500 mil lumps and smaller, and then we put it through a crusher, crush it down to 40 mil and below, and then we take it from that crusher and put it through a smaller crusher down to two mil and below. So if you have a closer look at this, you can see some of the plant material in here or the old um, trees. You can still see the grain in the coal. So basically this coal hasn't been baked long enough and it hasn't been sitting under too much um, pressure. Pressure being all the overburden on top of it, compressing all the stuff out. Once we've got it in the shed, it goes from here to other customers and gets bagged. New Zealand U mates order it through our Weybridge and then trucks come in, we load them up and then it's dispatched to their customers. Currently we're mining uh, about a thousand tonne a year. We've got heaps of capacity to grow the U-mate business. We could mine as much as 20 or 30,000 tonne a year, no trouble, and handle it through our current crushing plant that we have. Humates are the world's oldest compost, basically. It's actually found in a seam directly above lignite coal. It contains three main ingredients, humic, fulvic and humin. And all three have a useful effect in today's agriculture. Humates also contain a high level of carbon, which acts as a food source for the fungi and bacteria. There are many benefits why uh, humates are used on the farm. Uh, to name just a few, better animal health, lower nitrate levels in the pasture, Soil biology is increased dramatically through the humates adding plant stimulants, energy, vitamins and trace minerals to the ground. The humates has the ability to actually stop the leaching of nitrates by holding on to them. It also has the ability as well to hold on to heavy metals and uh, for example aluminium and cadmium. Cadmium, cadmium is found in uh, superphosphate and it's a very toxic material. Initial trials we've done with solid energy indicate that 3% of humate mixed in with superphosphate will actually reduce the, um, will tie up the heavy metal, the cadmium, and not make it into the waterways or into through the pasture. We've done trials with Lincoln University in the last couple of years, particularly with the ability of the humates to hold on to cadmium out of superphosphate. Also, the nitrate leaching as well, that, that's another big one which is a really big concern at the moment for councils in particular and waterways near lakes. The humates are tested periodically at, at random times in their laboratory in Christchurch. So every couple of truck loads which gets taken out of here, or out of the mine, we actually get tested for carbon, humic, ash, the volatiles uh, and the moisture content to make sure that we're supplying a good quality product to our customers. There are two ways of applying humates. They can be used mixed in with fertiliser or they can be applied separately on the ground. Most people apply them with their fertiliser, but more and more common now is to uh, have them applied directly onto the soil as well. Our product is BioGrow registered, but in saying that 80 to 90% of the farmers who use it are conventional farmers who just want to uh, maximise their existing fertiliser in the ground. Studies have shown over the past that applying humates on the ground unlocks a lot of the phosphate which is already in the ground, which makes the plant available. Using humates with urea, the normal rate is between 5 and 10 per cent. By mixing humates in with urea, the humate covers the urea capsule, stops it turning to ammonia form, and it can actually be applied at any time of the day because it's not going to evaporate. By applying humates and urea together, it extends the life of the urea by up to another 46 days. We use it in our urea on application through the fert spreader here, and it goes on at 60 to 65 kilos a hectare, and it's mixed at nine to one, so about a tonne of humates to nine tonne of uh, urea we get dropped off. You can put it on at any stage, any weather conditions, um, which is handy because you don't have to wait for the rain. 
um, and you can follow up behind the cows and keep an order where you've been easier. I've noticed the worm population has probably increased quite a bit. I wouldn't know exact numbers, but there's generally more around in the dirt and in the soil, yeah. Well, I plate meter every week, so um, I sort of know what's going on on the farm, and you can see the results. It's, we've grown more grass this year than we have in previous years, and made probably in excess of 600 bales of baleage on the farm when we usually only use, ah, sorry, make about 350, 400. And the grass just looks a lot healthier. Uh, and I think the cows enjoy milk better off it, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> This program was made with funding from New Zealand On Air.